10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, ignition, and lift off to the top of 9, go Starlink. liftoff of Falcon 9 Power from Space Launch Complex 40 for this 11th Starlink mission. The three planet Skysats and our 58 Starlink satellites are on their way to space. In about 10 seconds, we will be approaching max Q. Merlin engines Vehicle are now throttling sonic. down as they anticipate the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. All right, we just went through Max Q, and the vehicle is now supersonic. And Merlin engines have throttled back up. So coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. First will be main engine cutoff, or MECO. This is where all nine Merlin engines will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second the event, stage started. separation. This is where the first stage separates from the second stage with sta stage one starting to make its way back to Earth for landing, while second stage will kick off the third event of, in this sequence, SCS-1, or second engine start one. This is where that Merlin vacuum engine will ignite and begin to propel the second stage along with our payloads into orbit. Main engine cutoff coming up in about 20 seconds. Everything continuing to look nominal for stage one. We have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And in back ignition. All right, so there we saw those three events all happen in quick succession. Stage one is now making its way back to Earth. There on the left-hand side of your screen, we can see the grid fin slowly deploying. And on the right-hand side of your screen, the Merlin vacuum engine beginning to develop that healthy orange glow as it continues its journey on to orbit. Fairing separation confirmed. We're just a few seconds away from fairing deployment. There we go, visual confirmation of fairing deployment. We, once again, as a reminder, we flew those fairings on a previous Starlink mission in January earlier this year. So with that, we have successfully reused this fairing pair. Like I said earlier, we will be attempting to catch those fairing halves with our recovery ships, Ms. Tree and Ms. Chief. And 10 seconds away now from the beginning of that entry burn. Again, this is the first of two burns intended to slow the vehicle's velocity Stage down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn startup. And there we can see that the entry burn has begun and will last for about 20 seconds. Stage two continues on nominal trajectory. Again, this burn utilizes three engines at the base of the rocket. And Stage there one, you can see the down. entry burn has concluded. Second stage trajectory is still looking nominal. Stage one, landing burn. And landing burn has begun. You should see the Stage plume two, from the rocket saved. appear on the screen here. Stage and one, landing leg deploy.
our touchdown and shutoff. Successful landing, landing of the first stage booster. Once again, this is the sixth time that we have utilized this booster on a mission, also marking its sixth landing. This is the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Skysat 21, deploy confirmed. Okay, deployment confirmed for that first Skysat. The first of three this morning. And there on your screen, at the end of the stack, slowly making its way away from the second stage, we can see that first Skysat moving along. Skysat 20, deploy confirmed. And confirmation that the second Skysat has deployed. We'll see that here momentarily. Ah, there it is at the end of the stack again. and awaiting the third and final deployment for this rideshare customer. And Skysat 19, deploy confirmed. And deployment confirmed for that third and final Skysat for our customer planet. These three Skysats will be joining 18 already on orbit which will complete the fleet of 21 and make it the largest high resolution fleet of satellites in orbit to date. Like I mentioned before, they'll be capable of imaging a single location up to 12 times a day. And there, as you can see on your screen, we successfully caught one of the fairing halves. Uh, that is a recovery vessel, Ms. Tree, caught that out of the air. The second fairing half made a soft water landing, so Ms. Chief is en route to scoop it out of the ocean. That, Starlink uh, tension rod separation confirmed. We have an expected loss of signal um, over our ground station. There we go. We can see the visual confirmation of Starlink deployment. Like I said before, those 58 Starlinks will be joining 600 that are already on orbit. And shortly, they will be deploying their solar arrays over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves out using the momentum created by the Starlink second stage. Complete. Like I said, we spun it along its central axis to provide the momentum required for those satellites to space out, as you can see there. So they'll be using their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit of 550 kilometers above Earth and we'll begin to start beaming down high-speed internet to us Earthlings.